Revelio. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one?
I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find.
I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive, and a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the
Sauron wanted us to find is near there. Right out of a storybook. Oh, my poor boy. Bainbra <laughs> is one of my favorite hamlets in the area. Deadly charming. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. What do you have for sale? That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Thank you for stopping by. Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio! This place could do with a bit of proof. Confringo! Let's look around. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. 
I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Shear isn't worth the time. You can't. Quit a flick of a frock and you fall to pieces. This must be the place. Revelio. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Confringo! <gasps> Revelio! Self would be proud. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
Genesis. Capulsa. Incendio. To race now, my friend. Time to go a little quicker. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Protect him! Found ya! Real quick, don't go down here. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Oh, 
We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. Nothing works. Let's drop a fatal vein. Enjoy stealing hippogriffs, do you? Time for you all to clear out. Sure, I had something. You better be. Are you even trying? Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all... What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. I need 
need you to return to your common room. All right? Longer. Not my father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander, 
I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Not going to hurt you. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
I don't have anything for this at the moment. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. 
Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. You should have joined me. <laughs> 